And let's talk about New Jersey. People are digging out tonight. CBS 2's Jessica Layton joins us from TNEC with the details from there. Jessica? Hi, guys. Well, what we're finding here in Teaneck tonight and really all across Bergen County is that when it comes to the driveways, people did a really diligent job digging out. But once their vehicles got plowed in, they kind of gave up. So block by block, we're seeing cars buried under several feet of snow with the possibility of another storm on the way. Really hard, you know, because it was a lot of snow. Omar Cardoza spent the whole day digging out his driveway on Dorothy Avenue in Rochelle Park, deciding just before dusk to finally draw the line at this car parked beneath a mound of snow. You're going to stay for a while with it. I'm just trying to clear the sidewalk. Emerson Morona slightly out of breath, but who can blame him? This is the third time the Glen Rock man has been out clearing heavy snow today. I don't want to end up. The, uh, Fixing this tomorrow because this will basically ice up, so it will be much harder. While the pros continued plowing and spreading salt well into Tuesday evening, snowbanks piled high in Paramus, where some parts got 27 inches. This is one of the bigger ones, there's no doubt. Driving was still a little tricky on some side streets. This Domino's delivery man decided to walk pizza to customers who couldn't or just didn't want to leave the house. Maybe more than 20 blocks. I love this weather. Hopefully that pie doesn't get too cold. Meanwhile, in River Edge, you could feel the warmth this father and son have for family. When Qasem Khan's uncle called for help this morning, they didn't hesitate. He hurt his back shoveling this morning, so um, he called us, asked if we could help. Here we are. Rushing over right after shoveling out their own two feet of snow in New Milford. We cleared that walkway. And we still have all of this to go. And then we have to pull the cars out. And as they scrape, lift, and toss, it isn't lost that there's the potential for another storm this weekend. But this dad plans to do things a little differently. This time, he's calling a private contractor. I raised the flag already, and I'm ready for Sunday. I love his honesty and I love his idea. Now, when it is finally time to try to clear off this car, a reminder they've got to clean this off completely. Driving with any snow or ice on your vehicle is not only illegal in New Jersey, it's also dangerous and annoying for the people driving behind you. We're in Teaneck, New Jersey tonight. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Very much so, Jessica, on all fronts. Thank you.